You know, it's so easy to find inspiration. It's everywhere. If you look for beauty, you will find it. But sometimes you just have to wait for the universe to say, okay, now, and you have to be open to doing it then. You can't really force it, just get all the other wheels in motion so that when it comes, you know, you can glide with it. We had something new every day. Whatever was happening a season ago is not happening next season. That excitement just keeps churning. My creative process changes all the time. You have to figure out what to shed so that you can just be free and kind of create from a pure space. You know, you don't get it right every time. You're thinking, I could have put an elastic in the back of that waist and it wouldn't have compromised the style and it would have fit, you know, 20% more people. It's important to just get quiet for a few minutes every day and just get a grip on yourself and what you hope to, to do that day. And to be grateful that you have the opportunity to do it. You know, your micro focus comes in and, you know, the world sort of slips away. And realizing that you're just a wave in the ocean and, you know, you'll get the things done that you need to get done. You have to believe that. It's hard to boil the inspiration for fall 2015 down to one thing. It really starts looking at new fabrics for the season, what colors look amazing, what textures are really exciting. There's that kickoff and then the things that influence you, you know, over the course of the next few months, it really builds. The biggest impact on my personal style is probably my mom and my grandmother to some extent. My mom was super curvy. I mean, she had tiny waist and really round hips, and that's why she had to sew for herself. The fact that she tailored things to fit her figure, I think, influenced me a lot. And she used to always say things to me like, big legs look good in high heels. Like, yeah, they do, but I just can't wear those every day. But she did. My grandmother was super glamorous, too. She loved to dress, and she'd be wearing a white suit, or she had a leopard suit, or a black suit, and she'd be posing like a movie star. And we're just like, oh my god, Grandma's so glamorous. She looked like a black Ava Gardner or something, you know. She was just really, really cool dresser. <laughs> There's plenty here in the office that's inspiring. All of our fabrics and colors are inspiration. Whether it's people I'm working with, all of it is here. You really have to take everything that you've put together, every bit of inspiration that you've assembled, and, you know, put it into action and get the collection finished. Designers or anybody in the creative field, you're responsible for keeping yourself inspired, keeping your team inspired. And if I say, oh my God, I can't come up with another idea, then I can. If I say, oh, there's always another idea, then there is. You decide to be inspired.